in terms of the economy, it's obviously uh, there are some headwinds, in particular the, the cost of living squeeze that we're seeing at the moment. So I think it's quite possible, probable even, that over the coming year or so we'll see a, a shallow technical recession in the UK, but not a meaningful, sizable recession that has a, a big impact on unemployment, for example. And so when we read that across to the sectors, it probably means some headwinds for some of the consumer-facing elements, such as retail and, and hospitality, less so for, for logistics and, and residential, which we see as some of the more resilient areas. You're thinking about uh, which sectors will continue to deliver reliable income through uncertain economic times. I think a lot of investors are looking towards the residential sector as one, one of those sources. And we particularly like actually the, the affordable housing sector in, in the UK, where you have that regulated structure, you have a waiting list of people looking for properties, a consistent undersupply, as well as having some inflation linkage actually in your, in your lease structure, which is really appealing at the moment. And also just one of those areas that does tend to be counter cyclical. I think fundamentally, uh, we're not building enough houses. And when your household formation is outstripping the rate at which you're building houses, then that demand supply imbalance is a persistent one. And while that remains the case, I think it's a really reliable source of consistent income streams.